Let's go to our correspondent, uh, Ben Gashiru, who is on the ground in Abuja to give the Federal Capital Territory to give us an update. Yeah, Bega, thanks. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. So what is the latest? Um, we understand two uh, uh, feared dead, 37 others rescued or so. What was the latest on this building collapse? I, I must tell you, this is quite unfortunate, considering the fact that it was here uh, that, that played the main, that was the main theater of the tragic event that happened just barely five months ago at Guarimpa, uh, just um, about 15 kilometers away from here. And now we are hearing news of a needless tragedy that broke out here just last night at 11 p.m. at the popular Lagos streets here in Abuja, Lagos Street in Gariki in Abuja. And um, we understand that event, the collapse, the building caved in around 11 p.m. yesterday night and immediately rescue agencies had swung into action to rescue about uh, 37 bodies in which out of it we understood that uh, two we were fatally injured. So it's rather unfortunate. Um, just some minutes away, we had an interview with a new FCC minister who had been reading the Riot Act as if he was a prophet. As if he saw this coming, that this tragic event was just um, at hand. Keep going, I can so hear you. Now, he, he said this is really unfortunate. And he, he also said that when he was reading the Riot Act, he wasn't out to be vindictive, or he wasn't out to target, or it wasn't even politically motivated, but he feel that there is a need for everyone to be secured. So this event happening right now is a wake-up call and a call to action. And indeed, the FCT minister, Yesom Wike, had said that he would take action on this. He would ensure that the owner of the property here is arrested and um, the relevant authorities swing into actions and investigation is done. He also called for time that it's rather unfortunate that this is like a rude awakening because it just resumed barely 48 hours ago and this is happening. So it shows that the FCC minister has his work cut out. Um, for now, the area has been cut on off. Uh, security agencies, rescue agencies have been here trying to make the most out of the rubbles. Uh, for now, we like I told you, we understood that 37 bodies were rescued, but two were fatally injured. In the uh, collapse uh, realm, uh, when you say someone is fatally injured, uh, I'm sure you know what that means, that that is indeed a sad news and a tragic news indeed. So we understood that the 35 remaining bodies had been um, um, sent, dispatched to hospital for medical attention. So that is the situation right here. But for now, we can and see the rescue agencies trying to uh, recover the properties and the bodies. But we understood that all the bodies have been rescued. That's according to the rescue agency here. All right, uh, Benga, this, is, this was a, a three-story building, right? So, I mean, um, what, what was this? Describe Garki for those that don't know. Is this a residential area? What, what, what's, what, what's, what's in the area where that building collapsed? And do we know the cause? Because it says it's, three, it's just three stories. Interestingly, that, that's a relevant question. Uh, we understood that this area is meant for the Apo resettlement, and all of a sudden it's uh, being used for a, a different purpose entirely. So the minister, the FCC minister has vowed that he would ensure that he restore that plan for Apple resettlement to commence here as soon as possible. So when you look at the area, I wish the cameraman could give us an overview of how this um, uh, vicinity looks like. Uh, you can see that most of the buildings here are emaciated, they are deteriorated, they are in a deteriorated condition and um, it's, it's really calling for a desperate intervention right now here at Lagos Street, the popular Lagos Street in Gariki, Abuja. Okay, so, so it's residential, yes? It's not like, it's a residential area. That, that's the Apple resettlement you're talking about. That's what we're looking at. It's, a res it's meant to be a resettlement area. Right. But for now, it's a mixed uh, grill of uh, uh, business and residential area, which is different from the official purpose it is gazetted for.
Okay, okay. So the FCC minister, you said something about him going after the owner of the building. Well, is it, is it, why did it collapse? Do we know why? Have, or do we have any update on why it collapsed? Was it the structure or, or what? Uh, um, obviously, apparently, I must tell you that this building is a machetated this building. Um, when you look at the structure, the, in terms of the quality of the building materials, uh, in terms of um, the appearance, like uh, fall, I can tell frankly. you that, that it's, we're looking at right now. it's a great crumbling yeah. standing until the, the time it caved in. I mean, even the one to the left, or rather to your right, that the camera is panning out, that, even, that one even looks Many like it's of tilting. The, I can, yeah, it looks I can like conv it's, I, it could fall at any moment. I can conveniently assure you, I can confirm to you that most of the buildings here are emaciated. They are in a worst deteriorating condition. Uh, I would let my cameraman give you a glimpse of what the vicinity looks like. Uh, just, just, take a, just take a look at what the vicinity looks like. Most of the buildings are obviously emaciated. For a new settlement like Abuja that was created just uh, some few years ago, uh, and most of the buildings are in this state, it shows that um, they are unkempt and um, they, something, a desperate intervention is needed in Lagos Street, the popular Lagos Street in Gariki, Abuja. Uh, Gwenga Shiro, thank you so much for the information. I guess we'll wait to hear from the minister of the FCT to see what takes place, if every, the entire area needs to be evacuated or what. Thank you so much for the update. We'll, of course, be following up with you as the day uh, progresses.